and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. even worse than I thought. Ballast regulator. Ballast regulator. What's this, major surgery? Our high-frequency transmitter's down, Tila. And you're just in time to nurse it back to health. Not today. I just stopped by to tell Father I'm taking one of the jet crawlers on a mission. Hmm. I don't know of any mission. I've been asked to take three students on a field trip to the mystical forest. You sure you don't need me to come along? I think I can hold my own with 13 and 14 year olds. But Tila, this transmitter is the only one on the crawler's frequency. Radio contact will be impossible. You'll have it fixed before we're two miles from the palace. Don't worry, Father. Tila, uh, maybe you should wait. I'll be fine. Resume surgery. Bye. That woman's got a mind of her own. Well, let's get back to work, Adam. Transducer. Transducer. I'll fix it with a quick spell for my new magic wand. Forget it. Well, please let me do something. Octal base. Screen grid. Octopus rays, green lids. They must be here someplace. No, Orko. If you want to help, well then, help. Maybe, maybe this is it, or, or maybe this. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> what a blast. I don't understand it. <laughs> I do. No, it's, it's no laughing matter, Adam. The beam switch has been blown into the stratosphere, thanks to Orko. I don't suppose a simple, I'm sorry, would help. We can't send or receive signals. The frequency of our transmissions is uncontrollable. All radio equipment will remain useless until I can design a new diode. Then let's get started. What do you need? Pure rainbow quartz. All right. Uh, where do you keep it? Well, I wish it were that simple, Adam. A new supply was due to arrive yesterday, but it was delayed, so we have none. Can't it be found anywhere on Eternia? Yes, Adam, there is one source. A cavern in Snake Mountain. <laughs> It's so beautiful, but eerie, like someone dreamed it up. It's very real, and you have a special lesson to learn here. <laughs> not me. I'm going to be a royal guard, not a royal gardener. Is that so, Quill? Uh, what's happening? <laughs> very funny. Those were guardian mushrooms. They don't like intruders. Maybe you do have something to learn, Krill. Look! Cinda, don't! What was that? That's the way the flower protects and feeds itself. <laughs> and you could have been dessert. But it didn't look dangerous, Tila. I think you're all getting my point. Danger hides behind many disguises. Are you sure there's no place else to get that quartz? Just hang in there, Cringer. The weather's always rough this close to Snake Mountain. Uh, just don't get too close. <laughs> Cringer, I can't see. Well, I can, and it's pretty scary. There it is. 
the Snake Mountain. Maybe Skeletor's not home. We'll be in and out so fast, he'll never know he had visitors. I hope Tila finds a good picnic spot. I'm starved. I'm bored. Look, there's still time to have some real fun on this trip if you dare, Tager. What are you talking about? I dare you to take this jet crawler for a little spin. Without telling Tila? That's crazy. I dare you. Come on. It does sound sort of exciting, Tager. We, yeah, sounds exciting, all right. Well, I'd do it, but we can't leave Tila out there. Forget it, Krill. She can use her belt radio to signal for a Wind Raider. She'll be all right. Come on, I dare you. And I double dare you. You double dare me, huh? All right, why not? Transmitter by now? Tila to base. Can you hear me? Tila calling base. Do you hear? Oh, I hear you, my dear Tila. I hear you. <laughs> so you're having transmitter problems. What a pity. Oh. <laughs> Poor Tila's lost. <laughs> Let me capture her, Skeletor. <laughs> Forget it, Furball. Tila's mine. <laughs> and what luck. She can't call for help. That means no He-Man rushing to her rescue. <laughs> oh, I never get to do the fun stuff. Once I have Tila, I may be able to trade her for the secrets of Castle Grayskull. Please, don't say that again. Say what? Grayskull. You're too sensitive. Eva Lynn, go answer Tila's call. We can't leave her stranded. That would not be very nice of us. With pleasure, Skeletor. And hurry! My patience grows short to possess the secrets of Castle Grayskull. <laughs> I really wish he wouldn't do that. We've got to find an unguarded entrance. Duncan said the vein of quartz runs through the whole mountain. You are a dreamer. Skeletor couldn't possibly have locked every crack and crevice. Uh, are we talking about the same, Skeletor? Here, what'd I tell you? Come on, help me push this aside, and we'll squeeze between the rocks. <laughs> Come push, Cringer. Push. This rock is looking at me. Cringer, we don't have time to fool around. Well, then you, you better tell this guy. Cringer! Good catch! Any time, Evelyn, any time. What have we here, intruders? We've come too far, Krill. I never should have taken your stupid dare. Please turn back. Hmm. Uh, I guess we've gone far enough. What's that? Snake Mountain. Turn around, Tager, and hurry. I I'm trying, but there's something pulling us towards Snake Mountain. I it feels like a giant magnet. I'll bet this spring comes from inside the mountain. Let's take a look. I can't swim. Don't worry, Cringer. I'll help you. Just hold your breath. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I'll surprise Skeletor over this catch. We've got to find that rainbow quartz and get out of here. Not so fast! We have to get... 
get to that quartz by the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Think you're going, scale face. He man. Would you like to go for a little swim, merman? He man. You'll never get out of Snake Mountain. Skeletor will see to that. He man. you to the burning desert where there's no water. No, please. I won't escape from me again. I think the children are more your equal. Perhaps you can find them. <laughs> Sorry, Merman. It's time to turn He-Man over to a real monster. <laughs> Do you know a real one, Beastman? <laughs> uh, I get no respect. Without radio contact, there's no way He-Man could know I've captured Teela. Then why has he come here? I've got to get rid of him fast. Man at Arms said we'd see an iridescent glow when we got near the Rainbow Quartz. You will, but you're not even warm, He-Man. If you needed Rainbow Quartz, why didn't you just ask? I come here in peace. If I can leave that way, it will be a pleasant surprise. My people will be pleased. I I'll give you the Quartz on one condition, uh, that you leave Snake Mountain immediately. Attention all guards. Prisoner Teela has escaped. Close all doors. Teela? No wonder you were so anxious to get rid of me. And the children, what have you done with them? Nothing. Take them and leave. No, I won't leave here without Tila, the children, and the quartz. And perhaps you'll never leave Snake Mountain. <laughs> Find her. Recapture Tila. It's going to snap. But we've got to get to the opening. There they are. Help us, Tila! Don't move! That limb's ready to break! Tila! Behind you! Uh-oh. The walking junkyard. If I could only contact He-Man. Stand by for one of my father's specials! Leave it so soon. Oh, I wish we'd stayed in the mystical forest. I wish I hadn't taken that dumb dare. We're not going anywhere with you, Trap John. Now get out of our way. Why, gladly. Oh! 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 You lump of worthless ore. Let us out of here. 
Tila has to be in one of these caverns. Uh, maybe she's hiding. Good thinking, Battle Cat. We have to let her know we're here. Okay, boy. Let her rip. What's that? It's Battle Cat. If Battle Cat's here, then so is He Man. He Man! Let's go, Battle Cat. Enjoy the ride, Trap Jaw. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. It's a long story. Let's just get the children out of this evil place. <laughs> this must be Skeletor's launching pad. <laughs> How clever of you, He-Man! You should have taken my first offer. Then you would have had the quartz. And you would have had Tila. <laughs> now I will have them both. Well, how nice to see you, Tila. Stop right there, He-Man. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Tila will not leave Snake Mountain. Well, I won't leave without her. And a few of my friends will have to show you the door. <laughs> and take these urchins with you. <laughs> a little oil slick should slow you guys down. Get him, you dullards, get him! <laughs> Just think what you could do if you had skates. What do you think you're doing? Putting you on ice. Now to free Tila. Incompetent fools! You'll all be banished from my sight if they escape. Be ready to take off. But the launching bay is closed. Not for long. Shut down the power source. I'll get it. Start the basher, Tila. Come on, start. Still want to play? Ever think of going into the circus? Oh, really? oh, put me down. You should keep your bashers in better repair, Skeletor. <sighs> This basher doesn't start. I sure hope it will glide. Now for the rainbow quartz. We've got what we came for. Now let's head for home. I'm sorry, Tila. I was afraid the others would think I was a coward if I didn't take the dare. Well, sometimes it's hard to do what we know is right. It was more my fault than yours, Tigger. I'm just glad we all got out of that terrible Snake Mountain. Thanks to He-Man. Well, I'm sure he's glad too, Tila. Ah, it's completed. We have a new beam switcher. This I gotta see. Look, oh, look out! Oh, no. Hey, Orc, 
Coco, that was some move. No, nothing to it. Well, we're back on the air. Good work, Duncan. Thank you. But I couldn't have done it without E-Man. Well, if I see him, I'll tell him. <laughs> Taking a dare doesn't prove you're brave or smart. It could prove you're pretty foolish, because most of the time it will get you or someone else in trouble. The smartest thing to do is not to take a dare and not to worry about what people will think. If you only do what you think is right, you'll come out the winner. Don't learn the hard way, like the children in today's story. Until next time, so long.